Hey guys, the Biz Clues here bringing you another video for real women of gaming on this awesome Friday. Today we're going to be playing some 7 Days to Die and I am loving this game so much. And I think this is probably going to be the game that I play for the next couple of videos um, and start a series out of this game because I am loving this game. It is fantastic. I love everything about it and I hope you guys are really going to enjoy it. Um, it's basically, you know, zombie survival game. There's so many of them, but I think this game has the most to offer. There's the most to do as far as crafting and what all you can build and, and all that good stuff. And, you know, I joined the server a couple nights ago. They've already gotten pretty far ahead. I'm learning the basics, um, trying to get, you know, to where we can build their own base, but I mean... You know, we're playing with them, and their base is pretty pretty awesome, pretty badass. And, you know, we're just going to go out and do some adventuring, some exploring, and, you know, see what we can find. So now I just got to, <laughs> you know, hold my breath, cross my fingers that we can make this jump here. And we did it. Easy enough. So there was just an air drop and it's really nearby so we're gonna make a waypoint and we're actually gonna head towards is there two of them are there two airdrops oh that other one Ooh. let's go to this one first since it's right here well dang that was easy enough am i right Ooh, a spiked club schematic. That'll come in handy. So in this game, you get uh, schematics, and that's how you learn to craft some of the more larger things in the game, like weapons and all that good stuff. So we can always use weapon parts, antibiotics, and first aid is, you know, <laughs> we're not mad to get any of that kind of stuff. The spiked club schematic is good. So I'm going to read that. There's actually two of them. So I can go put one in the box for my teammates here. And that one's done, so let's head to the next one. That was much easier than I thought it was going to be. This one might be a little bit of an adventure, because it's a little further out here. So let's do it to it. I don't know why I set waypoints, because it's right there on the map. I'm an idiot. Anyways. But, uh, you know, I, I've gotten a couple weapons, which is awesome for hunting, especially if you see bears. If you see bears, it's pretty much game over unless you can outrun it or if you have weapons because it's pretty brutal. Um, but after we get this airdrop, we'll do some crafting. Uh, we can actually shoot up this deer if we want to. Uh, we'll, we'll take it out in one shot with the sniper. Here, dear, dear, dear. I may have just attract that zombie, so let's go ahead and snip it up a little bit. They might be dead. Let's use our machete here. and So when you do carry raw meat on you, you do attract zombies. So you want to be armed and prepared, which I am. So not a huge deal. We're going to, ooh, bottled water. No complaints there. Always good to come by. There we go. All the blood splatter. Let's see if we can find anything in this car that's worth anything. Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? I always take everything. Uh, flesh we don't even need because we have plenty of food. So let's get rid of that. Oh, wow. And on to the supply drop we go. Are we almost there? Oh no, we're not even close. It looked much closer on the map. That's why I was a little thrown off. Uh, but if you guys are really into survival games, especially with zombies, because zombies are fucking awesome, recommend checking out this game. Um... It is, I believe, twenty four ninety nine, and I think it's worth every penny. It's five dollars more than Rust, and I am a long time Rust fan. I played that game since it came out like two, three years ago. I believe that it's a very fantastic game, but this game just has so much more to offer, um, so much more crafting. Ooh, 
rip get get killed more bottled water I cannot complain thank you all the bottled water guys all right also what I like about this game is the map coordinates so you can add people by doing this and when these people are actually on your server you can actually show where they're at on the map and it's super awesome and I love it because you can find the people that you need to find um see if we can take this out with a headshot oh he moved he twitched on me oh. now he's dead get wrecked I just I love everything about this game guys it's just so good and we are good and just the way that it shows things on the map as well like what direction you're going in um, back here is my bed you know, I, I have a, I have it marked, but if I didn't have a waypoint set, it has your bed there to show you that that is indeed your home. So where in Rust, you just kind of have to know where you're at and learn the map. This, I think, has a little bit of a better inventory system, for sure. Uh, and mapping system is much, much better, in my opinion. Oh, boom, headshot. Look, he's dancing with me. And he's done. Yeah. All right. So are we almost at that airdrop? Oh, there's more? What the hell? What the hell is going on here? There's another one over here. I don't even hear airplanes, guys. Like, they're just showing up. No complaints here, but it is definitely weird. We are van venturing out, and we are getting all of everything. Uh, my girl is getting killed. So, if you see over here... Uh, down in the bottom left corner, it uh, does show your temperature. So if you were cold, you do want to have other clothes available for your character. So I have this puffer coat, which should definitely warm me up. And then I have a long sleeve shirt as opposed to my short sleeve. So we should start warming up now. It's not even nighttime, which is weird. See, we went from 40 to 41 degrees. So yeah, we're warming up. Supply crate number two. What do we got here? Crossbow bolt. 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 It's a bolt. Bolt schematic, which is good. AK-47 parts. Can't complain there. We got two of these as well, so I'm going to read one of these. We're going to learn how to do some things. And now let's go to this next supply drop, shall we? Ooh, that was nice. Good shot. Where is he? Uh, I don't know where he is. Oh well, onward to the supply drop. I do want this deer though. The more raw meat, the better. And he's down. Alright. Onward. So yeah, I mean, bears in this game are really no joke. I'm glad we haven't seen any. Because bears equal, like, it takes like three sniper shots. So these holes you definitely want to avoid. Um, oh, this bitch is coming at me. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Um... 
Because if you, but if you see these little white things right here, this is called nitrate or nitrate, something like that. Uh, but it's it's really really essential for making ammo. So if you can ever get down in there and collect some, it's nice. But I would go without anything attached, just in case you can't get back up. That's always smart, in my opinion. Oh, a deer here, buddy. I think I got him. I think I clipped him on that second bullet. I hope. Yeah, we did. All the meat, baby. All the meat. I will take it all. And onward we go. But at night, you especially want to watch out for the holes because that's when they're the worst. Is at night. You want to really, really be careful at night. Our inventory is almost full, guys. After this supply drop, we're going to need to head back. Alright, here we go. We were much closer than I thought. Ooh. I think I've already read this one. But the one thing I've found out about this game is whatever ones you read, it does not tell you that you've read them. So, that is one complaint I have about the game. So far. Um, and Alpha. Like, I've glitched off the map a couple times, and I do not like that. But other than those few things, uh, this game is pretty, pretty solid. Pretty fantastic. There's a lot to it. A lot to do. And I'm loving it. I've been playing for, you know, three days straight now at this point. Super fantastic game. How did I miss that bullet? And I saw a Zambi over here. He should be dead. He's not. Now he's dead. Ooh, soup. I'll take you. Alright. Continuing back to the base. While watching out for holes. Because <laughs> I do not want to fall into a hole right now we have a pretty good setup too well the people that I play with I think their setup is pretty dope um, you know and I hope to have as good as a setup as as these guys do eventually within time within time we'll definitely get there uh, and it'll be fun. That's one of my favorite things about this game is just building and creating and crafting things. I think that's what makes games like this so amazing. Huh! Yeah. So let's go drop off all the supplies we got. Uh, everything should be good to go up here. We got some food, which I think I might need to even eat a little bit. To be honest. I'm going to read one of these. I mean, I got four of them. So I'm going to read one just in case I don't know how to do this. Um, and we'll put the rest away. So we got some soup here. Do we really not have that one? Hmm. I guess not. Alright, there's that. Um, do I have any more? Ew, I don't want this flesh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> have the large rations here. I'm just gonna eat one to get my to get my foods up. I'm gonna need to eat another. Uh, we're almost good. I'm gonna eat like just one of these. Just to get up to a hundred. And then we're gonna drink some of this water I got here. Get that up and going. One more little sip, and we will put the water away. 
Oh, water goes in the top one. That's right. Here's some more water. Water, water. And we can put our glass jars right here. All right. Uh, we have some beakers, which may go down here. Yes, they do. Some beakers if needed. Um... Oh, and our extra health kits can go in here, too. There we go. We got some antibiotics. We got some painkillers uh, pain as well. Uh, let's see. I think that's good for that. Supplies. There's a whole bunch of parts. And I'm going to try to keep this as organized as possible. There's another one of those. I got another one of these, actually. Uh, do you see any of these kind? Yes, right there. I have a something, a stock of some sort. I don't even see this one anywhere. So we'll just put it right there. A uh, rocket launcher something. <laughs> There's so many parts. Uh, I guess we'll put that right there with the other rocker, rocker, <laughs> rocket launcher stuff. Uh, let's put this together. There we go. Now it's more organized. I even fixed some of it. Yay! Oh, and rocket launcher parts, right? That's what that is. It is. Let's just move that down then. Um, I think that about does it for that. We don't need these cans. Get that out of here. Oh, I got some AK-47 parts, which I don't see anywhere, to be honest. In here, there's some Magnum parts. and So I'm just going to put it down here, I suppose. Or maybe right here. And bullet casings, which we might keep somewhere else. Let's see. Not in there. Not in there. Maybe up here? Yes, there they are. Ah, bullet casings. Mm -hmm. These actually go in the box downstairs, so I'm going to move these. Uh, what's up here? Clothing. I don't have any extra clothing. Uh, what's in this one? This is where we keep our schematics. Okay. So there's that. And here's some more armor ones. There's a... Did I read? Yeah, I read one of the crossbows. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Um, paper might go in another box over here, hopefully. Let's see, um, I got nothing that needs to go in here. Definitely nothing that needs to go in here. And, let's see, paper? I don't have no idea where we keep paper. I'm just going to put it right down here for now. Put this duct tape away. I did not, oh, here we got some animal hide. Some animal fat, some fibers, uh, some bones here we can get rid of. And I would think we would keep lead over here because there's some lead pipes or iron pipes, rather. So we'll put that there. What's up here? Nothing of importance. Okay. Okay. The refrigerator should just be food. Oh no, it's tea. Uh, that's empty. We have a bunch of candles up here. I don't know where to put this candlestick at. Uh, maybe in here? No, that's all our schematics. Not in there either. Um. I'm just going to put it right here for now. That works. Then we're going to go over and cut our cut. We're going to cook our beef. Sorry, guys. I'm super tired. I have no idea what's wrong with me. Uh, 
bacon and eggs. We did have a bunch. I put a bunch of eggs in the refrigerator yesterday. Wonder if they're still in there. No. Did we use them? Did somebody use them? Hmm. I'm a little curious to where all those eggs went. I guess they did get used. Okay. Well, we're going to make... Let's see. I guess those are our only options is... Grill meat or charred meat. We're going to cook 20 pieces. And go. I don't think I need to stay by it. It should just cook it all, I hope. Hope so. What's going on? Nothing's right, I'm torn. I'm a little late. Alright, is it going out of my inventory or do I have to stand by it? I guess I have to stand by it. Okay, I hit the wrong button because I'm an idiot. So now we're good. Now it's going to cook it all. Alright, so we got some food cooking. Let's go out here and start collecting resources for our house that we're going to be assembling. Shall we? Mm, wrong door. Let's go down. I'm going to take you. I know I've normally been jumping the spikes over there. Um, but I'm going to show you guys little secret pass that we have here. Oh, I forgot to close the top there. We Let's go. It's pretty neat down here, right? I love this little uh, passageway. It's awesome. Oh, we have more ammo down here. And way more med kits. Perfect. So perfect. Alright. I forgot to put those bolts away, but that's okay. Jeez, are these all the trees I planted yesterday? I think so. That's no worries. We'll go ahead and chop some of them down. Why not, right? Get them out of the way. Start collecting wood for our house. It'll be amazing and perfect and lovely and fantastic. We but uh, this game, I feel like it does definitely have a lot of hype. A lot of people are playing it. I just hope that in the near future it does get larger. I only know about maybe five or six people that play, so it would be super awesome to uh, have more people to play with. So if I can encourage you to buy this. I think you will love it if zombie survive well not even zombie but just if survival games are something you enjoy this game is a fantastic one so we're gonna have wood for days boys and it's gonna be great trees galore man this is insane these are definitely all the trees I planted last night this is crazy. We already have two stacks of wood. Beautiful. The beauty of playing this game with other people is I can start on our wooden house if we have a zombie horde. Hence, if you didn't know, the reason why this game is called Seven Days to Die is every seven days is a zombie horde. So, we had one last night, and we are approaching... Oh, uh, what? 
day 49. So day 49 will be our next horde. Um, but the cool thing is if I get to day 49 and I don't think my house is stable enough yet for a horde, I can always just come to my friend's place and we will be solid. So... That is always the beauty of this game. We're gonna need lots and lots and lots of wood. Cause we are going to be making our place huge. And it's gonna be great. And I'm really, honestly, super excited to take you guys on this journey with me of building this house. And it's going to be great and fantabulous and wonderful. Yay! All the trees, all the trees. Dang, there's so many. We're gonna have like a whole stack of wood. <laughs> like a whole inventory full of wood, it's gonna be great. And then we gotta go rock hunting to get, to get lots of iron so we can reinforce our base. Nothing's right, I'm torn. I'm a little faint. Oh, that song is stuck in my head. I'm sorry, guys. So stuck in my head. <laughs> I know this is the boring part of the video, but I promise you they will all get better in time. But uh, I've learned a pretty good chunk about this game, so if you do play, that's awesome. One, we should play together. Two, if you have any questions about the game, I am in no means an advanced player, but I have played a lot and I do know a good chunk about the game. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I'll be glad to answer them for you. I know this episode went a little longer than the next few will go just because I wanted to show you guys some aspects of the game and I wanted to get those supply drops and I just wanted to, you know, let you guys get a feel for the game. So the next few videos will actually indeed be a little bit shorter. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and end this video. I'm just going to keep uh, collecting wood and stone and all that good stuff so we can start crafting our house. And well, this broke anyway, so I'm going to have to go fix this. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, tune in next Friday where you will see more of this gameplay as well. And if you guys enjoyed it, please uh, like, subscribe, comment, whatever it is you want to do. And if you play, please let me know so we can definitely play together. This has been the BizClips bringing you a real remnant of gaming video. I will catch you guys all next week. Have a great weekend. Goodbye. Whoa! Hey, watch where you're going there, buddy. There's a speed limit around here. I don't really know if there is, but... <coughs> that was some reckless driving. Something's going to kill me. This is supposed to be a nice, quiet, peaceful game. Some BS. Alright, anybody in the saloon?